Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So your upcoming CSI net exam, CSIR December 2024 exam is quite near and there are a lot of things you must be doing, you, there are a lot of things you must be preparing, a lot of things you must be taking care of. One of those things is general aptitude and I'm going to talk about that in detail in this video. Why is it important? Why general aptitude as a section of your exam is important? What are the things you can do to improve it? and how it can affect your score okay so these are basic things and from where you can prepare so these three four things i'm going to talk about in this particular video all right so first of all let me tell you that your entire exam your entire csi net exam is of 200 marks out of which 30 marks is from your general aptitude part or part a of your csi net exam 170 marks you get from your subject that is from chemistry or life science whatever subject you are giving for but your uh, 30 marks is from your general aptitude part and these uh, this particular section is uh, section a or part a of your exam which has 20 questions in total but out of those 20 you have to do 15 questions okay so maximum questions which you can attempt in section a is 15 and each question is of two marks which can give you total 30 marks in total and negative marking is of course uh, one fourth of it so uh, yeah 0.5 is your negative marking so why general aptitude becomes important see the thing is i am not saying that general aptitude is only important part of your exam of course your subject part or your like chemistry part if i talk about chemistry students so your chemistry part that is section b and section c is the most important part of your exam but general aptitude part is some place or some part of your examination or of your question paper from where you can get some some marks easily okay and that is something which generally i have seen students they ignore okay because when they sit in the exam they start solving questions from section b and section c and they give a lot of time or their all time all three hours all 180 minutes to section b and section c thinking that they will be able to uh, do a lot of questions from there and they just completely neglect part a or section a now what happens that section a looks like it's a general aptitude and it would be containing a lot of mathematics lot of equations formula related things but believe me it's not that difficult okay out of those 20 questions there are at least five to six questions which are super simple okay if i just ignore some of the exams because in some years uh, the paper was the general aptitude portion was actually difficult but if i just ignore that part so in most of the csr net exam in average on an average you will get five or six questions which are easy what are those easy questions? So those easy questions will be from data interpretation where you will be having graph and if you know how to read the graph or if you know how to analyze a graph, which of course you must know and uh, you should be able to do answer related to that. Okay. Then you have puzzle related question. There are questions related to puzzle. There will be boxes in which uh, some numbers will be there and there will be a number with a box which will be left empty. So you have to fill that box. So that comes in the form of puzzle or in the form of it can be in any way. Okay, you have to find out the relation between the numbers to find out that. Then there are questions related to figure. There will be figure which would be rotating or moving and you have to predict what will be the fourth one. Okay, and among the options you have to choose that. So these are some very simple things and then there are some easy questions from basic mathematics where you just have to calculate let's say speed of something or you just have to calculate uh, like uh, they are just based upon direction based questions that somebody is going left then this much steps he has taken right so these these are the things or these are the types of questions which one can easily do and there is no separate preparation needed for these type of questions okay it is all based upon your analytical understanding and once you sit in the exam where whether you are able to read the question and you are able to answer them or not so if you are able to do these five questions correctly out of those 20 questions if you are just able to do 5 questions that can give you 10 marks these 10 marks can become a factor between your net qualification and jrf qualification so you know that you can be easily shifted from a net qualified candidate to a jrf qualified candidate if you have 10 marks so that's where the importance of section a comes in so what i suggest or what is the way how i would recommend you is first thing is you have to analyze okay you have to understand that whether you are able to do general aptitude related questions or not okay now there are two ways of doing it one is just directly go and start solving previous years questions just uh, take previous years uh, question paper and try to see the general aptitude portion of that try to solve general aptitude portion of that okay or whenever you are sitting in a mock test try to do the general aptitude portion so because we have already launched our own mock test you must be aware about it in that mock test we also provide general aptitude portion 
and if you sit in that mock test if you if you get, give that mock test it give you complete exam like experience just like how you get an exam you get all the three sections separately you get in section a you get 20 questions out of 20 you can do 15 at max in section b 40 questions out of 40 35 you can do and in section c out of 60 you can do 25 questions so this is how we have prepared it if you want you can purchase that mock test and try to give that we provide four full length mock test in that particular package along with detailed solution of that and along with that we also provide previous years questions of chemistry in in a form of ebook in that particular uh, like in that particular package so if you want you can purchase that but uh, that is one way you can do second thing is you take out question paper and try to solve it just, just take the previous years question paper and try to do section a of it and see how many questions you can do so that will give you enough uh, confidence that whether you are able to solve question or not or if you don't want to give this much uh, you know this much time on it or this much effort on it because I know you must be busy preparing your own syllabus preparing your own subject so in that in that case you just watch our uh, series okay we have already launched our series of videos on YouTube those are available for free on YouTube and those are aptitude series for CSR net and gate aptitude series so uh, these are two series which I would strongly strongly recommend you to watch because gate aptitude series contains questions from gate exam and uh, aptitude series for CSR net contains questions from CSR net uh, because both the exams are near and because the level of general aptitude is quite similar in both of them if you prepare from both these series they are, these are not having long long videos they have short videos but I have tried to compile similar type of questions in a single video so if you if you watch this complete or entire series that will give you enough idea about what formula to use how to tackle certain type of questions and what is the level of question of course which is being asked okay so this is the minimum effort which i would recommend you can give okay apart from that of course i strongly suggest you to uh, do previous years question to practice from your own side but if you are not able to get that much time this is the minimum which you should do at least watch all these uh, aptitude series link of these series will be there in the description okay so you can reach out and watch these series from there uh, this is a playlist like both those playlists will be there so watch the entire playlist uh, try to solve the questions of your own there will be some homework questions also after the uh, after the video ends so so that you can also practice that question okay so this is one of the way of preparing your cs uh, for your general aptitude of csr net okay and why is it important i already told you because this can become a deciding factor between your net qualified or jrf qualified or it can be a deciding factor let's say your, your marks is around 80 you are getting 80 or 85 which i don't uh, pray for i pray that you all get good marks but let's say with any uh, like in worst case scenario you are getting such low marks but out of general aptitude you got 10 marks or 15 marks extra okay that could be uh, that could take you to 100 and nobody is going to ask you that whether you got those 15 marks from general aptitude or part b because you know part b and general aptitude both both have same weightage both of them have two marker questions and each question uh, like carries two marks of course and negative marking is same that is 0.5 but in general aptitude at least four or five questions will be easy to approach okay uh, one more important thing is that when you will sit in the exam as I said many students just ignore completely ignore section A okay but what I will suggest you that when you sit in the exam when you when you sit for the actual exam you should at least give 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes to section A okay this time you can decide okay it's up to you how you are going to give that whether you are going to give it in the starting of exam uh, or you, you want to start from section A or you want to give it at the end but uh, you should give at least 20 to 30 minutes to part A okay because this particular 20 to 30 minutes is going to make sure that you have read enough questions of part a and you have segregated out uh, those questions like those five or six questions from part a which are easy to be done and that can give you marks and using this technique and um, trying to do aptitude questions has helped a lot of students in past exams okay a lot many students after exam they tell me in the comments that yes we have uh, done like three or four questions in aptitude and all of them were correct and uh, since they were correct we, we got those eight or ten marks from uh, from the aptitude which has helped in their overall scorecard okay 
So this is one thing which you have to keep in mind that you do not have to completely ignore section A, you do not have to completely ignore part A and you also do not have to over emphasize part A, okay? you, you, you should not just keep on preparing part A and ignore your uh, chemistry, okay? you have to uh, like make a balance, give minimum time to part A so that you should be able to do at least minimum 3 or 4 and maximum like 10 or 15 questions from part A that is that is what you should do and of, of course if you will read questions if you will go for the question you will see that you are able to do and if you want to practice it you can practice it in the mock test when you give the mock test you can practice your own strategy whether you want to do this part a at the starting of the exam or you want to do it at the end of the exam other strategies i have already discussed about you like how to tackle section c that is how to tackle uh, like four marker questions of csr net I have also discussed about what you should do in the last days of CSR net. All those videos are there in the i button. They are there in the description of this video. You can watch them. And that is it from my side for this particular video. I hope that you all are preparing well. And if you have any other query, you can ask me in the comment section below. And I will try to answer you over there itself. That is all from my side for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.